Okay. So, since there are eight of the tetrahedrons in here so far, then we can... So, yeah, there's four of them that we can see clearly. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then, the, there must, the octahedron must take up four of the tetrahedrons. The octahedron must take up four of the tetrahedrons. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then, what does that mean about the relationship of the tetrahedron and the pyramid? So if we divide it, the, the square pyramid. So the pyramid is times two is the octahedron. So you divide the oct divide the octahedron volume by two. So it would be two tetrahedrons are in this. Cool. Now let's return to your estimate. From looking at this, do you believe that two of these could fit in here? It actually, doesn't look like it. Hmm. So maybe that volume formula, or the scaling rule is different for tetrahedrons. Yeah, it, it's tricky, huh? Maybe, maybe what we need to do is, um, maybe what we need to do is do another water pouring exercise. Maybe we can 3D print a hollow tetrahedron and a hollow pyramid. Hmm. Try. Try to figure out how to do that. Because um, I will tell you this, I, I agree with you. Looking at these shapes, it does definitely does not look like this is twice the volume of that. Yeah. It definitely doesn't look like that. But you know what? What? It is. Hmm. But it sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. And also, the other thing is, is also true, the volume of an octahedron is double. Sorry. Uh, Four, four times, times the volume of a tetrahedron? Four times the volume of a tetrahedron with the same side lengths. Hmm. So that's pretty neat. But, um, so we'll figure out how to explore that more. But So the interesting thing is, is now we actually have a different way to prove that this uh, shape here is, has just one flat side on the bottom. Hmm. And how is that? What's our other geometric way here? That we can we can demonstrate that this is actually flat on the bottom from what we've talked about. Well, the te well we can sort of what we can do is we could create another pyramid. You divide this. So if you divide this in half here, is this the octa the relationship between the octahedron? And the tetrahedron here is flat, uh -huh. and you can divide it, divide, cut this in half, yeah. and then you'll get the shape here. It's very, very good. This shape lives inside of our tetrahedron. Yep. Shape. That's really cool. So it's a neat 3D geometry, and I guess we have a follow-up where we got to make a hollow tetrahedron and a hollow square pyramid, yeah. and then we'll do some water pouring. Okay. All right. Hey, good work this morning.